<laughs> what's up what's up Phoenix squad it's your boy the robot barbecue t1 mobile bring you another fresh another fresh heaping hot plate i'll try it out thursday today we gonna be playing out uh primateria it's a dungeon crawler card battler uh with a nod to Yu-Gi-Oh. um if you've seen any of our or try it out Thursdays, try it out Tuesdays before. You know I got a soft spot for deck builders. So when they gave us this key to to Primateria and I seen that it was a deck builder, uh, I was like, huh, count me in. Let's give it a try. Um, I've certainly been on a good bit of a, a deck builder kick. Um, if you're in our Discord, you can you maybe find me some late nights playing uh, either like Beneath Aressa or Power Chord or Fights in Tight Spaces. Like those are some of my all time favorites. And uh there's still plenty more that I haven't had a chance to try that I heard are, are even better. So um that's what we know tonight. And uh so sit back, take a sip of whatever premature buried beverage, and let's uh, get into uh Primateria. See how it goes. All right. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let go. All right, start game gallery, options, credits, community, and exit. I wonder if it's going to run us through a tutorial. Oh, breathe in, child. Breathe in. You are a polypus, a child of fate. I am Vetus. I am you as you are me. Welcome to the Visions of Fate. For now, I'll be your guide. Here, you are the master of choice. Each nod of the wondrous web of fate will take you forward. You are destined to do great things, child. Choose wisely. Learn the secrets of the game from its very creator. Struggles of power. What's for the server? What's my deck? Final the foolish, vicious blue beast incoming, the flying boar. Yes, I guess this is the tutorial. Teachings of the gods. Tutorial. On the creation of the very first polypus, two divines firmed a contract. A polypus would be taught the game of death. Welcome, polypus. To struggles of power. Each one will be decided with the game of Primateria. Go forth. You will learn from the best. Whoa. Another one, is it? Welcome to the incredible game of death. Primateria. I made it all myself. Let's play some cards. This is your hand. You can play cards from here. If they're level one cards, you can play them freely. Have a try. Play them both. Flying boar. Good stuff. Level one cards are great, but stronger cards are even greater. You can play them by making fusions. Why are you waiting till I put my cards out there before you tell me I confuse them? You can play this level 2 card by fusing those two level 1 cards. The level 1 of your fusion is equal to the combined levels of this material. You can play this level 2 card by fusing those two level 1 cards. The level of your fusion 
is equal to the combined levels of its material. How do I fuse them? I thought I could fuse them. What? Nice, you drew a card. Do you see that? Every time you make a fusion, you draw a card. Now, let's see how good the old man made you. Let me see you play that level three card. Too. Why not? All right, all right. You impressed me, Polypus. Let's move into battle phase. Click the battle button to move into battle phase. Remember the level of your cards. That's also their strength in battle. This is level three card, so it has three power. That means you need at least four power to kill it. You can attack with multiple cards at the same time, combining their power together. Neat, isn't it? Click your two cards to select them as attackers. This is a combined power of your attack. Now, let's see you kill that level three creature. Click it. That's it, Polypus. You did it. But that was just a taste of it. Let's see how you handle some real challenges. Oh, we're going up. Challenge death in a simple prematuria battle against a party of monsters. To progress and win cards. Ooh. What is this here? Incoming from hand. If the opponent arena has more cards than yours, play this card. Wonderful playing, Polypus. What a brilliant game. You're a fast learner, yes? Every victory will come in hand in hand with a valuable reward. Choose wisely. Garth the Talented Unbind. From Arena Swap Discard, including Willpower, the Compeller. Monster Grasshopper. You've made it, Polypus. Ah, what's joyous time to be alive. Now go on. Advance through the visions. They are the key to your progress. I have to go through another tutorial? Most cards in Primateria have effects. For example, the incoming card that you have in your hand. With this effect, you can play it from your hand for free without making a fusion. 
To use the effect, right click the card. Use the other one too. Now fuse them to put your level four. Play that level one card too, why not? Now click the battle button. Athena has an unbind effect, meaning that it triggers automatically after she attacks. It allows her to perform additional attacks attack with her to see it in action. Unbind. Bind a card from your arena except Athena. Unbind this card. Oh, so that I can use Thena. To attack. That's it, Palapus, you did it. But that was just a taste of it. Let's see how you handle some real challenges. Toss the gator out there. And throw some three, four. <laughs> Still in the tutorial. Let's continue. There are a few more things I need to teach you, but first, play all of your cards. Remember, to use an effect, right click the card. When cards are used as material for a fusion, they become mana. You can look at a card's mana anytime you want by clicking on the mana stone. Look how cute they are. To exit the mana window, just click anywhere outside of it. The opponent's card also has mana. As you can see, this card's mana has a level 2 and a level 1 card. Now attack! When a creature dies, it is substituted by a card of a lower level from this mana. Also, the remaining mana is still kept inside the card. So if you take this card again, it will be substituted one more time. That's enough for now. Press the end turn button to end your turn. Now it's the creature's turn. They are not happy with you. Uh, 
As you can see, the same rule applies to your cards. Since it had mana, it was substituted by a card of a lower level. You also draw a card. See that pile over there? That's your damage pile. Every time one of your creatures die, it'll be sent there. If it reaches 10, it's game over. The damage you take will carry from battle to battle until you die. So try not to be reckless. I don't want our fun to end sooner than necessary. That's it. Now finish them off. Can I take this one back? I should have played this one first. That's it, Polypus. You did it. But that was just a taste of it. Let's see how you handle some real challenges. Move all cards in Wolfstorm. Move all cards in the opponent's arena clockwise. You can bind this card to use the same effect again. Create a token of the same level and effects as this card. Switch to battle phase. Radioactive ooze. The journey through the visions can be tiresome, but fear not. When in need, child, rest, sit by the fire. 
Close your eyes and open your soul. All of your woes will be forgotten. The cars in your damage pile will return to your deck. Be not afraid, child. The souls of the damned have returned, as will it every time you rest upon my temple. You may not know me as of now, but our paths are bound. For now on, know that the mistress of fate will watch over you as long as fate demands it. This is it, my child. It's the final challenge. It's time for your skills to be tested. You have learned a lot. Now you must show your hand in a battle against a divine being. Damn, we coming out the gate. That's we can do. Let's see where we go. We're doing our bonus battle phase. And we're going to swap this card, including its mana, with a card from the opponent's arena. turn, play this card over a card from the opponent's arena. I can't fuse. Fusion! We gotta go to the battle phase. Not enough. Not enough. From arena at the end of here. It's not my turn, is it? No, nope, it's his turn. Um. Oh. Oh, wait a minute.
get all of my... Why do you combine so many, though? That's weird. Uh, uh, I gotta figure out this combining thing. Switch to battle. I wonder if I can lock the other opponent. It's like I I can't I'm gonna pass that on to him and again so he can't combine but he can't attack my flying which I figured he'd do. We're going to toss two more hogs out there. He, as soon as we put another card out there, I can throw him during your battle phase. All cards in front row gain one level. Level five. Bind him again. Boom. It's beautiful. Oh, how proud I am, my child. Time has come for salvation. Now we wait. Soon the pouring will come to motion. You and your siblings are ready to play your part in the prophecy of old. Zero difficulty. Quest. Era of the Divine. The Shattering. Random deck. Play with the deck of random cards and discover new strategies. Use easy to play cards with simple effects. Let's go random. All right, so that was Primaterra. Um, it was a fun game, I'll tell you that. It was a fun little uh, deck builder, card battler type game, and uh, it you can still you can still tell that there's some like glitches with the the mouse. They need to fine tune that a little bit. But as far as it it was a little difficult to to pick up, I guess since I've never played Yu Gi Oh, maybe that's why it was a bit of a learning curve for me with the combining of cards in order to attack and and such like that. Why not just you know, it, I feel like it'd be easier if you just have a set amount of points that you can play your cards and then attack, uh, you know, like that. Or Magic the Gathering, and every every round you get one, you know, you get one stone to play, and next round you get two play cards, along those lines. But I guess with so many deck builders out there, you you know, you got to find a way to stand out from the rest of it. And, and if that's their way of standing out, then, you know, they, they were doing a good job with it. But uh, that's going to be it for tonight. That was Primateria. Uh, if you would like to check it out, you uh, you can grab it off of Steam right now. And I believe there is a demo for uh, with Steam Next Fest going on this week. So, yeah, definitely hop on that. Uh, but until then, uh, remember, live your best geek life.
play games, read comics, watch anime, geek responsibly. Peace.